there's a few perks that come with having a loving, healthy relationship. You have someone who'll take you out on fun dates, someone who'll hold you when you feel sad, someone who'll be your personal garbage disposal when you can't finish your food, and of course, someone who'll witness you in your most unattractive and embarrassing moments and still be into you. And today, I'll be sharing a few of those embarrassing couple stories with Wolfie Chu. We have quite a bit in common. We're both huge Tokyo Mew Mew fans, we both have the gracefulness of a newborn deer, we both have names that sound like we sneeze in the middle of typing our usernames, and we've both made fools of ourselves in our relationships on more than one occasion. After you finish watching this video, be sure to come check out the other half of the collab we did over in my channel too, where we tell even more of our embarrassing couple stories. Okay, so I'll start with my first story. So back in early August, Ditus visited me in California, and at one point we'd spent all day in Los Angeles. It was a lot of fun, but by the end of the night, after a very long drive home, I was exhausted. I decided to knock out early, and Ditus chose to stay up a little longer and play Diablo with one of our friends in the living room. I passed out, had some of the best sleep of my life, and when I woke up the next morning, I looked next to me, and he wasn't there. Did he never go to bed? But then I looked over the bed on the other side and found him lying on the floor, hugging my aqua dakimakura and shivering. W oh my god, why are you sleeping on the floor? You must be so cold! You poor thing, what are you doing down there? You wouldn't let me in last night. What? What are you talking about? I was asleep. So apparently, when Didus finally decided to go to bed hours after I'd already fallen asleep, he nudged me and said, Hey, move over. I want to sleep! And according to him, I rolled over, looked him dead in the eyes, and said, No. And turned my back to him. He tried to push me over to the side, but I kept rolling back over to the middle of the bed without looking at him. What the, what heck, the heck did, did I, I do? do? This, this girl's mad at me for no, no reason? reason? Is it because, Is it because I played Diablo, Diablo for too long? long? What, what gives, gives man? man? And he was so irritated at the idea that I'd be mad at him for no reason he could think of, he decided to sleep on the floor in protest. Meanwhile, I'm out like a log with no recollection of this interaction ever happening. You should have just picked me up and moved me to the side of the bed. Well, I could have, but I was mad because I thought you were mad. Why would I be mad? That's what I was trying to figure out. I guess I'm really rude when I sleep talk. I felt so bad about it for the rest of the day, and it felt like I'd accidentally abandoned a puppy out in the cold. Wait, so Diodus was curled up sleeping on the floor like a dog? Well, I guess his dedication to anime waifus is very young brand for him at least. A true anime bro. Alright Wolfie, your turn. My story happened on Jordan's sister's birthday. She wanted to go ice skating, and it was the first time I'd been ice skating since I was a kid, so I was pretty nervous getting onto the ice because I was afraid of falling. This was also the first one of Jordan's family birthdays I went to as well, so it was kind of a big deal to me. I was taking longer than the others to be able to skate. I was just clinging to the side and pulling myself along until Jordan came over to help me stay steady on my skates, since he could already do it pretty well. He was holding my hand and helping me skate around slowly, which was really cute. Jordan's dad also kept on skating in circles around us. He was really good at it because he grew up in Canada and used to play ice hockey. He looked like a figure skater speeding around. Once I started to get more confident skating, I wanted to speed up too. It was so much fun and I was so excited, but then all of a sudden I completely lost my balance and had the most dramatic looking fall. And since Jordan was still holding my hand, I accidentally pulled him down with me and we both fell onto the ice. Jordan hit his head pretty hard when he fell, and we had to get off the ice since he needed to take a break after that. I was so flustered, making sure he was okay. He wasn't badly injured, but he did end up with a headache for the rest of the day. This happened literally in the first month of us being together. I was so embarrassed. He didn't feel like it was a good idea to hold hands ice skating anymore after that. See, this is exactly why I never hold hands whenever I go on ice skating dates. Because there's always gonna be one person going faster than the other and it throws the balance all out of whack. Yeah, we definitely had to learn that the hard way. I realize now that all the other embarrassing moments I can think of are never us bearing the embarrassment together. It's usually just me being embarrassed because Didus doesn't feel shame regarding anything, really. Even if I'm the one doing something dumb. 
Like, every time we've eaten at a restaurant and I knocked over a glass of water or dropped something, his reaction has always been just, up oh, there she goes again, while I'm apologizing profusely to restaurant staff. So they're not really embarrassing couple moments so much as they are just regular embarrassing me moments that he happens to be witness to. Like, for instance, one of his favorite moments was when we ate at a sushi restaurant by the beach and I accidentally offended the owner because I kept smelling each piece of sushi that I ate and they thought I was checking the freshness of their fish like I didn't trust it or something. I wasn't! I just do that! I like smelling my food, it's part of the dining experience! Anyways, he thought it was hilarious, of course. I'll keep in mind that smelling every piece of food is just one of your habits if you ever eat my cooking then. <laughs> I do understand this though, cause I like smelling things too. But instead of food, it's usually more like things I take out of boxes or books though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to revisit this topic when I figure out some kind of strange habit I could roast him for, so the embarrassment isn't so one-sided. Keep in mind, this is a long-distance relationship that started right before COVID, so there haven't been that many opportunities for embarrassing couple moments, but there's definitely more to come. Especially on my end. I don't really know how to end this video gracefully since we didn't record an outro, but uh, uh thanks for watching, go check out Wolfie G's video, and happy first video of 2022!